So this is the model paper that has been issued by the institute. In this entire paper, you all have section A over here. Then below if we will be going, you all have section B. After section B, there is a last section over here, section C also. So this is section B and then finally it concludes away with section C. Now all these sections have approximately four case scenarios under them. So therefore like for section A, if you all see, for section A, you all have case scenario number A1 over here. That is the starting point. Then you will have case scenario number A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4, C1, C2, C3, C4. So in all, there are 12 case studies that are there. Example, if this is case study number A1, you have MCQ number 1, MCQ number 2, MCQ number 3, MCQ number 4, then MCQ number 5, and lastly, MCQ number 6. So there are 6 MCQs for the case studies. In all, in all, it's going to be a 100 marks paper and every question is of 2 marks. So therefore, there will be 50 MCQs that are there. In 180 minutes, you have to be doing 50 MCQs. So approximately 3.6 minutes you will require per MCQ. As per me, that is good enough time for you all to be completing your paper. Apart from that, there are 50 MCQs for 12 case studies. So approximately 4 MCQs, 4 to 5 on an average okay per question that is there so these many are the mcqs although in case scenario number a1 a2 a3 a4 the number of mcqs are more then in section c the number of mcqs for every case scenario is lesser okay so let's do this particular thing uh case scenario a1 Art Decor is a marble sculpture making company based out of Jaipur, Rajasthan. It has been making miniature figures for the past many years. It now plans to foray into making larger statues that can be displayed in gardens, resorts or cor large corporate offices. So these guys were making small statues. Now they are going to be making full size statues. Okay. As a trial, it has asked his main designer Raj to come up with appropriate design model that would appeal to such customers. Okay. There is already a competitive market for the larger statues. So Raj is their main designer. The company has told Raj to come out with the design of these statues. But there are already players in this. Okay. So already there is competition. However, management of Art Decor has asked a skilled artist like Raj who can come up with attractive designs for the customers. Within the month, the Raj, uh, Mr. Raj has come out with appropriate design. Jay is a product manager who likes the design but to who wants to price it competitively in the market. The costing for 200 statues is given below. So therefore, Raj is the <coughs> designer and uh, Jay is a product manager. But Jay is of one opinion that let's price it competitively. So this is the cost. Designing cost, material cost, direct la uh, labor cost, variable manufacturing overhead cost, fixed manufacturing overhead cost, marketing cost. In all, this cost is 85 lakhs, I guess, in total. But this is a cost for 200 statues. So therefore, per statue, it is going to be 42,500. Okay. So, the targeted profit is 25% of revenue. That is the target profit. That is the profit that we are looking at. Okay. If the selling price is 45,000 per statue, what is the targeted cost per statue? See, our actual cost is 42,500. Okay. But selling price, selling price, selling price is 45,000. This is our target selling price. We like to sell the product at this price. But then we are looking for a target profit also, 25% of this. So 45,000 into 25% will be 11,250. So that gives you target cost. So our target cost should be 33,750. This is the cost that you all should achieve. So this should be your target cost, 33,750. This will be your answer. I'll just highlight the correct answer. Okay. One small thing. Currently, your cost is very heavy beta. It is 42,500. It's a very heavy cost. Okay. Now, if it is a very heavy cost, then what you all should do? You should try to bring down your cost. 
and how to bring down the cost in target costing we all have done techniques like value analysis and value engineering we have done those techniques what is the cost estimate per unit as per the cost information given above what is the cost estimate per unit i calculated that that was nothing but 42500 so see this is your current cost per unit 42500 over here is nothing but part b of the answer i will highlight the correct answer for the Third one, during the course of discussion, Jay, the product manager, found that designer Raj plans to use high quality marble for these statues. Jay suggests that he uses a much lower marble material for the statues. This would reduce material cost by 60%. Okay. Labor, skilled labor as required will also be re uh, reduced resulting from uh, resulting in direct manufacturing labor cost by 50%. So if they use that cheaper material, no, two things will happen. Material cost will reduce by 60%. Labor cost will reduce by 50%. Accordingly, what will be the revised estimate per unit if value engineering is applied? Okay. So, Jay, the product manager is telling to Raj, please let's use cheaper materials. This will reduce by 60%. So therefore, this will become 8 lakh rupees means it will fall down by 12 lakhs for the labor cost will be falling down by 50 percent so therefore it will become 12 and a half lakh rupees means it will fall down also by 12.5 lakhs so therefore your cost will fall down by 24.5 lakhs so 85 lakhs minus 24 lakh 50 thousand it will fall down to the new cost will be coming to 60.5 lakhs divided by 200 beta so therefore, 30250. So therefore, this will be your answer as such. Okay. This will be your new cost. So let's see in this case, whatever is the answer. <coughs> what will be the revised cost estimate? So therefore, it should be 30250. This should be your answer. Further. Raj, the designer, does not agree with Jay's proposition. He says, no, we will not use the cheaper quality raw material. Then what to do? He feels inferior quality raw material will affect the durability of the statue and hence will affect the demand in the long run. He says, Sasta material use karega na, to long run ke na demand hi nahi aayega, nahi karenge. But he feels that instead of value engineering, he feels that 10% increase in the spending in marketing can increase selling price per statue to 50,000 rupees per statue. He says, let's spend more in marketing. We will increase selling price to 50,000. The targeted profit is 25% of revenue. Given this scenario, will be the target cost per statue? Same thing as your last question. Target selling price is 50,000. Target profit in this case, you again want 25%. So therefore, 12,500. So therefore, targeted cost should be 37,500. I guess that should be your this answer. Further. Given the situation 4, what will be the revised cost per statue after increasing the spend on marketing? Okay. Now that guy had told we will spend more on marketing 10% more. So therefore this was 10 lakhs. Spend 10% more means 1 lakh. This will become 86 lakhs. Divide by 200, it will become 43,000. So therefore new cost over here will be 43,000 rupees. Okay. 43,000 comes over here. So therefore, this should be the correct option. Okay. There was only one change that the product designer was saying that in this case, we will uh, reduce this. <coughs> we will increase the marketing spend by 10%. So that's it. Okay. Further. MCQ number six. What is the estimated profit per statue as per three? Adopting value engineering and increasing marketing spend what is the estimated profit as per three and as per four how do you get pro uh, profit here it is selling price minus the cost originally selling price was forty five thousand. now they are planning to increase the selling price to fifty thousand. what was the cost we calculated no cost over here was uh, thirty thousand two fifty. that was supposed to be the new cost thirty thousand two fifty. And now the new cost in the above plan was 43,000. So therefore your selling prices over here are 7,000. Sorry, your profits over here are 7,000. And profit over here is 11, uh, 14,250. These are the profits. So therefore these are the profits under the two proposed plans that are there. So I guess 
these profits are mentioned in a so therefore these should be the correct answers okay so these are your answers you can try to reconcile them with the institute's answer that are getting displayed right now okay so therefore i've already marked so therefore a b c those are the answers that we all have also got then b d and a so therefore our answers were correct okay that's it that is end of case study number a1 we'll start away with case scenario a2 now this question is about building block model that was there in chapter number 9 made by fisgold and moon there are a lot of things of that so if your that chapter is done okay then you are supposed to be watching this video although there are few things even if you'll think in a proper way i guess most of the things you will be able to answer so let's do this thing fixit is a company that provides home services to the clients within few urban areas like mumbai delhi and calcutta okay these services include home repairs like plumbing electrical etc and appliance and repair services okay the company receives inquiries at its call center for specific service required okay the call center so these guys are basically like the urban clap companies or something like that okay they although they all do plumbing and electrical work and appliance re, uh, repair services like pvs up and so on okay the company receives inquiries at its call center for the specific request okay for the services uh, required the call center assistant logs the inquiry and provides a quotation for the specific service if acceptable to the customer then the inquiry is converted into a service request okay and is attended to by the professionals employed by the company for these various services a request can have multiple requirements included for example a single request can have both plumbing and electrical work the company has huge turnover due to high demand and such services for such services in urban areas obviously these are like you know necessity stuff so therefore lot in demand the company has been in operation for the last 2 years the management wishes to assess the current performance in order to set the targets and benchmarks for future use they wish to concentrate on both financial and non financial information the building block model suggested by fisgold and moon has been identified as a framework to be used to prepare performance evaluation report now please do ensure if you are continuing to watch this you have already done my lecture on building block model that was a big lecture okay which is a performance evaluation kind of a system from every angle okay and then it says like you know that these are the things that we all should measure there are something called as dimensions uh then apart from that there should be standards then there should be rewards we have done all these particular thing there are three parts of the fisgold and moon model that is the building block model given below a certain financial and non financial informations for the current year okay what information inquiries received from the customers from existing customers 12000 okay from the new customers 8000 number of services requests lodged from these inquiries 10000 and 7500 just one small thing you got 12000 inquiries phone calls so like you know what will be the cost of this what will be the cost of this up and so on all these things you all did okay uh and then and then and then around 10000 customers okay or 10000 services requests were launched so out of 12000 people 10000 got converted so therefore if anybody will ask me what will be the conversion rate no so 10000 divided by 12000 it should be 83.33% for the new customers 7500 divided by 8000 so 7500 divided by 8000 this is 93.75% okay further total client service last year both existing and new that is 11000 in all these are the number of customers that you all have these are the number of customers that you all have see one customer can place more than one request no beta so therefore obviously total of these two will not be matching with this because one customer can be placing more than one request also so customer will remain one but number of services will increase no further volume of activity okay home repairs 14000 appliance repairs 
नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉइज टू हंड्रेड नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉइज फिफ्टी सो देर फोर फोर्टीन थाउजेंड रिपेयर व कैरिड आउट बाई टू हंड्रेड पीपल ओके सो फोर्टीन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई टू हंड्रेड सो देर फोर आई गेस वन पर्सन एप्रोक्सीमेटली केटर्स टू ऑन एन एवरेज सेवेंटी रिक्वेस्ट इन अयर ओके एंड फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी सो देर फोर ओवर इट इज दिस इज हंड्रेड ओके फर्दर complaints number of complaints received 2000 last year it was 1600 number of complaints resolved okay that is 1900 last year 1520 complaints were resolved okay so this is the number of complaints received these are resolved of current year last year so Complaints means like you know these guys did the work. Consumer was not happy. He complained. So let's try to be thinking just one small thing. So out of two thousand complaints, you resolve nineteen hundred. No, your ratio is ninety five percent. Okay, so you resolve ninety five percent of the complaints. Last year it was one five two zero divided by sixteen hundred. That was also ninety five percent. Coincidentally, both of them are same. Gross profit on annual sales that is thirty percent. Okay, so therefore this is your GP ratio. Which of the following is true regarding conversion rate of inquiries into service requests? Conversion rate of existing customers is more than that of new customers. I don't think so. Conversion rate over here of new customers, sorry, of existing customers is lesser. Huh? So conversion rate of existing customers is lesser than the newer customers. So this is correct. Okay, further. Conversion rate is calculated as service request launched divided by inquiries received into hundred or reciprocal. Inquiries received upon service request launched into hundred. Beta conversion rate will be how many inquiries came and how many got converted into the orders. Okay, so therefore it will be this part, I guess. Okay, so therefore this is correct. This particular thing is correct. Okay. I don't think so. This particular part is correct over here. Okay, this is not correct. This particular thing is altogether correct. Okay, so therefore, out of the four options, which one were correct? Yeah, as such. So therefore, the ones that were correct was so two was correct and uh, three was correct. So options are one and four were correct. No, one and four were false. Two and three were correct. Yes. Then C one and three. No. Two and four. No, because four were false. So therefore, in this case, two and three were correct. This should be your correct answer. Okay, further, 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 further. Your this part is all together done. Okay, let's do the next part. To which dimension do the conversion rate of inquiries into the service request and the retention of existing customers fall? I'll read this part once again. To which dimension? There are four dimensions in building block model. conversion rate of inquiries into service requests and retention of the existing customers fall okay flexibility see flexibility is your adaptability to change like you know suppose suddenly one new kind of market came to clean the gardens how fast this company came out with that new product that is flexibility okay second resource utilization how efficiently you are using your resources okay it could mean suppose with how many employees how much work have you done or how much time of the fixed assets are getting used all those things quality control quality control are you providing great quality or not okay great quality in your products okay in this question it is a service competitiveness okay how competitive you are how competitive means uh, in relation to the competition now the question was to which dimension do conversion rate of inquiries into service request and retention of the existing customers will fall see i think so retention of the if i have to select one of them see if you are retaining existing customers okay it has got nothing to do with flexibility and resource utilization nothing okay it can be because of your good quality but i think it will if i have to select one no it should be competitiveness because if you are converting inquiries into the service request means into orders basically okay that means you are competitively sound okay this is not about quality this is not about quality although this thing retention of existing customers can be about quality 
but at least like you know retention of existing customers is also about competitiveness competitiveness means you are better than the competitors okay so if you are retaining existing customers means you are competitive apart from that if you convert inquiries into the orders that means that means that means that means that uh if you are converting inquiries into service requests that will be meaning that you are bagging the orders if the order would not have come to you then it would have gone to the competitor but it has come to you it is the competitiveness of your sales team of your marketing team of your call center team okay so if i have to be selecting one i guess i would rather go with d not with c as such okay because conversion of this into this is not about quality to be honest okay then mcq number 3 which of the following is true regarding complaints received okay complaints received complaints received is a measure of quality of service dimension correct complaints do measure the quality if your quality is bad complaints will be more so it is correct okay i think so this is true okay this is true complaints received is a measure of flexibility dimension absolutely no as i told you flexibility is your adaptability of the business to change to the new things beta this is your core business here we are talking of complaints received okay means you are not you are not doing your job properly so therefore your quality is bad it has got nothing to do with flexibility complaints received in this case have increased by 25% over the last year so let's see that complaints received have increased by 25% complaints 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 yeah complaints received have increased by 25% over the last year so last year complaints received was 1600 this year they were 2000 Sixteen hundred plus twenty-five percent will give you two thousand. So therefore, this line is correct. It makes sense to me. <coughs> this is correct. Further, complaints received can be a reason for lower retention of existing customers this year. Absolutely correct. If the complaints are higher, customers will not like to be giving you new orders. They will rather go to your competitor. So therefore, this line is also correct. So one is correct, three is correct, four is correct. One is correct, three is correct, four is correct. So this should be your answer. I think so. there should be your answer for the which of the following is true regarding complaints which are resolved we got the complaints we resolved them okay complaints resolved is a measure of quality dimension okay see complaints resolved is not a measure of quality dimension i think getting complaints is a measure of quality okay if you are getting complaints means like you know your uh, <coughs> services are bad okay i think so second complaints resolved is a measure of flexibility dimension okay i'll read all of them then i'll come back to third one the ratio of the complaints resolved to complaints received has remained same as the last year inability to resolve the complaints can affect competitiveness of the business now one thing i will definitely say one thing i will definitely say if you cannot resolve the complaints then it will affect your business for sure the ratio of complaints resolved to complaints received has remained same as the last year i think so that is 95% in both the cases beta so therefore number of complaints resolved to number of complaints received okay these are the complaints received these are the complaints resolved if i divide that comes to 95% both the cases so therefore this line is also correct okay now first and second complaints resolved is a measure of quality of service dimension complaints resolved is a measure of flexibility dimension see if you are resolving see to resolve the complaints no consumers can be angry about anything you will have to be flexible suppose like you know suppose just an example you did their electricity work okay your people did the electricity work they told because of you all our ac also got spoiled okay although you all did not receive like you know you did not service their ac but if you can be flexible enough to resolve such complaints that will mean that you are good okay so i think so it is not a measure of quality it is about flexibility suppose like you know somebody told sir i took your course today so is today's day counted or not 
Now I will be saying by default it is counted only. He says, but sir, I thought I am taking it in the evening. So therefore, how it is counted? I should be flexible enough to understand your problem. So I think so out of one and two, no, if I have to mark this thing correct, this thing should be correct. So <coughs> in this case, two, three and four should be all correct, beta. Two, three and four. I think so. So I would rather go with this particular answer. Okay. Further. Which of the following is true about average service performed by the employee? Okay. Average service performed by the employee is a measure of resource utilization. Average service uh, performed means how many services did one employee do? Okay. So average service performed by the employee is a measure of resource utilization. I told you that particular thing. I think it is true only. In fact, I calculated that thing. This is how good you are using your resources here. So therefore, 70% for, oh, sorry, 70 requests per employee over here, 100 requests or 100 orders were completed per employee. Okay. So therefore, in this case, average service performed by an employee is a measure of resource utilization. I'll give this statement correct beta. Then average service performed by an employee is a measure of flexibility. No, flexibility is adaptability for new things. These are not new things. Further, average service performed for home service is more than appliance repair. One sec, I calculated, no? Appliance repair is more than home repairs, beta. So, fourth one is average service performed by home service is less than appliance repair. Yes, because appliance repair is more than home service. So, therefore, this statement is correct. This is false. Okay. So, first and fourth are correct. So, therefore, answer should be this over here further which dimension does gross profit on annual sales indicate this is common sense beta gross profit is your financial performance options competitiveness financial resource utilization and quality so i think so that answer should be directly financial this is financial data no okay so therefore this should be your financial thing so therefore this should be your answer okay so your answer should be I'll forget it off also. Okay. It must be correct here. So it is B D B. Just a sec. B D B. B D B. Okay. Then further D A B. Let me just check over there. D. Okay. Then A and then B over here. So therefore this is all together correct. Okay. That's it about case study number a2. So I finished with section A2 case studies. You will have got glimpse of whatever ICS paper are going to be looking like. So now your work starts. Ensure that you prepare this paper very well. Clear it off. But recall few of the concepts because they will be again coming as part of paper 6 multidisciplinary. Spread this video to your friends, especially who all are there in CA final who still have to be giving this paper. This paper is easy provided you know all the concepts. MCQs are not very tough because you are only restri uh, restricted to those four options as such. So therefore, if in end, even if your knowledge is bit less, but if you use your proper brains, no, you will be able in most of the cases to work out whichever is the correct option. Further, any doubts can always be addressed to our telegram ID at the rate AJNX or you can comment below over here for any other questions that you might be having. All the best guys. Thank you. Take care. All the best for your studies for CA final. Bye.